It's official. I have iOS 14 on my iPhone now, and I wanted to show you something pretty interesting. So, a recent video I uploaded was actually called How to Get the Google Assistant Using a Jailbreak to be like your default voice assistant. No funny business going on. This is legit iOS 14. You can see I've got the app library right here. I'll go ahead, open up settings, general, about. You can see I have iOS 14 here on my iPhone. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop out of all of these settings and go check out how we're going to achieve getting this to happen. We're going to hop into settings and use one of the new features inside of accessibility to make this happen. Scroll down until you find touch and then scroll to the bottom of that and you'll see back tap, which is a new feature that a lot of people have been talking about. Inside of back tap, you're going to find two options. You've got double tap and you've got triple tap. I'll show you what it looks like on triple tap because I don't have anything set up here on triple tap. So as we're looking through here, there's a long list of options. It reminds me a lot of the jailbreak tweak activator, but down at the bottom, you'll see that you have the ability to activate Siri shortcuts just by tapping on the back of your device. Siri shortcuts came out in iOS 12, so you're probably familiar with this application already, but what you're gonna wanna do is just go up into the top and tap on the plus icon. Now you're gonna add an action, and what you're going to do is go ahead and just search for app. Now you're going to scroll down to actions. Scroll down until you find open app. When you tap on that, it'll bring up an option to choose an application. Just go inside and find the assistant application. And that's all you have to do. Basically, this little toggle here now launches the Google Assistant. And now all you need to do in order to launch the Google Assistant by default is go back inside, choose tap the back, pick whether you want a double or triple tap, scroll down and choose your new assistant option or whatever you decided to call it. So just go ahead and pick that option. And then when you double tap the back of your device, it will go ahead and launch the Google Assistant. So now if you hold down the power button, you get Siri like you always did. And if you double tap the back of your device, you get the Google Assistant. So it's really the best of both worlds. I was a big fan of the fact that you could do this by default. If you liked this video and you want to see my full coverage on iOS 14, that video is going to be up in the coming days and you can check out here on the channel exactly what's going on with iOS 14. I know plenty of people have beat me to it, but I've got all kinds of cool stuff to talk about and you'll get my opinions on iOS 14. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you on on my iOS 14 video. Thanks for watching.